Turn to the book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 1 through 11, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. Very familiar story. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man lame from birth was being carried in. Each day he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you. But I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. Then Peter took the lame man by the right hand and helped him up. And as he did, the lame man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and began to walk. Then walking, leaping, and praising God, he went into the temple with them. And the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. When they realized he was the lame beggar they had seen so often at the beautiful gate, they were absolutely astonished. They all rushed out in amazement to Solomon's corridor, where the man was holding tightly to Peter and John. Let us pray. Father, send us a word. Send us a word that will change our lives for the rest of our lives. In your son's name, amen. Before I give you the sermon title, I need to make another little statement. Uh, this sermon was first prepared and preached for the sons of Alan. And it was dealing with one of the issues in my heart. I have a burden for African American men. So I'm going to speak to the brothers, but I don't want to leave the sisters out. The language is going to be oriented toward black males, but I don't want to leave the sisters out. So when I say brother, you hear brother and sister. Is that all right? Yeah. Sermon title. Can you help a brother? Now, now, my wife told me, she's my consultant. If I can say it right, I can say, can you help a brother? But I don't get it right, do I? She shook her head. Miss it again. So I'm going to say, can you help a brother? The call of Christ has two primary foci. First, God offers us a solution to our true need, our need for salvation. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Second, God offers us fulfillment by being used by him. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. The most fulfillment you will ever experience is the joy.
In verse 4, Peter tells the lame man, look at us. Principle 1, be a model of success. Have a look at me testimony. You see, my brothers and sisters, we can't go in.
codependence. Codependence. You see, uh, this crumpled man asked Peter for some money. And we've been reading the King James for so long, we think Peter didn't have any money. Because in the King James it said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give unto thee. But I like the New Living Translation. It says it slightly different. Slightly different. I don't have any silver or gold for you. I'm going to do a little aside. I, I, I saw one of my classmates yesterday, and he says, uh, when you come out of the store, I'm going to holler at you. <laughs> oh, y'all know that story, don't you? <laughs> so when they got out of the store, I was thinking about this sermon, because I knew what he wanted. And we started talking, and I said, you know, I'm 56, you must be 56. I said, we do all. I said, I'm going to be in my office from 2 to 7 tomorrow. Come on to the church. I'm going to fix you up. I gave him my card. I had the old card. I had to circle it right on it so you know how to get to Union Station. Because I'm going to give him what he really needs. He thinks he needs some money. This man had to give a beautiful thought. He needed some money. But giving that man
feels like love. I'm skipping some things. Some of you know that. It feels like love when the hormones are flowing. And the moon is reflecting off of her eyes. <laughs> when she's saying sweet things in your ear. Baby, there's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Oh, that feels like love. And you're thinking the only two people in the world ever felt anything like that. Oh, there's some great love, but there's none like that. But let me tell you something.
a great prophet, James Brown. I know y'all know him. He said it differently. He said, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Of their ascended Lord. 